Rock, verify range, go. Range green. First stage tank pressing up. A well, a well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. That third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Eight weeks later, Musk bet the company on another flight. We have liftoff. This time around, everything worked. Perfect. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount the trip. Successful entrepreneurs probably come in all sizes, shapes, and flavors. Some of the things I've described already, I think, are very important. I think uh, really uh, an, an obsessive nature with respect to the quality of the product, R really, really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into. Um, given that, you know, even if you're, if you're the best, the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. If you don't like it, life is too short. When my brother and I were starting our first company. Uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. We had just one computer, so the website was up during the day and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. You just, you just keep going and get it done. Put $90 billion, like 50 years worth of breaks, into, into solar and wind, to, 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 to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers. I'm available 24-7 to, to help solve issues. Right. Like, call me 3 a.m. on a Sunday morning, I don't care. But his bets paid off. We didn't just repay the principal, we actually repaid it with interest um, and, and a bonus payment. So ultimately, the, uh, the U.S. taxpayer actually made a profit of, a, of over $20 million on this loan. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. If other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. A natural human tendency is wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. So a, a challenge for entrepreneurs is to say, well, what's the difference between really believing in your ideals and sticking, sticking to them versus pursuing some unrealistic dream that mm -hmm. doesn't actually have merit? Your product or service needs to be much better. It can't be a little bit better. The, all those things improve the odds of success. You know, I think my, my sort of drive to get it done is somewhat disconnected from hope, or enthusiasm, or anything else. I just, I, I actually just don't care about hope or enthusiasm, or motivation. I just give it, give it everything I've got, irrespective of, of what the circumstances may be. We're doing these things that uh, seem unlikely to succeed, and we've been fortunate, and at least thus far, they have succeeded. Creating a company is almost like having a child. So it's sort of like, how do you say your child should not have food? Even if it, it ruins you? Yeah. I remember waking up the Sunday uh, before Christmas uh, on, in 2008 and thinking to myself, and I never thought I was someone who could ever uh, be capable of a nervous breakdown. Um, and, but I, I felt this was the closest I've ever come. So many people tried to talk me out of starting a ride company. It was, it was crazy. One good friend of mine collected a whole series of videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. And in the end, I had to invest everything and um, I was borrowing money from friends to pay the rent. What we'd like to do is to establish a city on Mars um, and, and help make um, humanity a multi-planet species and a true space-bearing civilization. That's the ultimate goal. I'm not saying we will do it, I'm just saying we're going to try. You had that third failure in a row. Did you think I need to pack this in. Never. I don't ever give up. NASA called and told us that we'd won a one and a half billion dollar contract. If you need inspiring words, don't do it. I think wishful thinking is uh, innate uh, in the human brain. 
having civilization and life as we know it extend beyond Earth to the rest of the solar system and ultimately to other star systems. That, that's, the, that's the future that's exciting and inspiring. You need, kind of, you need things like that to, make, to, to, to be glad to wake up in the morning. Life can't be just about solving problems. Like there have to be things that are inspiring and exciting that make you glad to be alive. And ultimately, be out there among the stars. It has actually been a very difficult journey, I have to say. Yeah. Here is a path to do it, even if that path has a lot of danger associated with it, risk, and maybe it won't succeed. Why it's important, and even if the odds are that it won't succeed, it's worth trying to do it. There are certain important things that we must uh, do in order for the future to be good. SpaceX has got uh, 5,000 5, people, and um, I get a lot of attention, but uh, it's, they really do the work. It's an awesome team. I think we're at the dawn of a new era, and, and it's, it's, I think it's going to be very exciting. What we're hoping to do with SpaceX is to push the envelope and provide uh, a reason for people to be excited and inspired to be human. We, we managed to do three launches, but they, they failed. Um, and I actually only had the money for, for three launches, but we managed to, that was the, the original plan of the world. After three, if we haven't succeeded, well, you know, maybe that, that, that should be, that, that's it. Um, but we managed to scramble and put together the parts for one, one final launch, and, and it worked. Every now and again, the little scrappy company wins. And I, I, I think this will be one of those times. I think it's important that humanity become a multi-planet species. I think most people would agree that a future where we are a space-bearing civilization um, is inspiring and exciting um, compared with one where we are forever confined to Earth until some eventual extinction event. You know, that, that's really why I started SpaceX. What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in, in spaceflight and, and, and help make spaceflight accessible to, to almost anyone. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. I was very sad to see that um, because those guys are, yeah, you know, th those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their minds.